Hey everyone, this is Shreyas and welcome back to another video. So, surprise surprise, we have Android 13 and this is going to be your first look at it. Obviously, it is in the form of a developer preview, so not a lot of user facing features over here. But there are some changes and put together with Android 12 L, which is going to come out in a couple of months, hopefully. So, few things I want to clarify. As I mentioned, it is a developer pre preview, so a lot of changes are under the hood and mostly won't affect you or you don't need to know about it. But there are a few features that i would still like to cover so if you want to be updated about android 13 and 12 l the nitty gritty features which are getting updated i keep posting them on my social handles over here so make sure to follow especially on twitter and if you're interested in more in-depth videos about the same and look at how your pixel devices will look in further going down with these particular updates make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and like this video as well so with that said let's check that out All right. So I installed Android 13 Developer Preview 1 on my Pixel 4a. It is my secondary phone. I am running the stable Android 12 on my Pixel 6 Pro as of now. Okay, few things. You need to do a clean wipe, unlock bootloader, allow USB debugging, etc. via the Android Flash tool. So that is the easiest way to get your device updated. Make sure you have a data backup because there has to be a clean wipe of this device even if you're running Android 12 L beta as of now. So I want to discuss uh, a few features which are really interesting in my perspective although these are mostly under the hood features and few are not visually represented as of now there is a feature which will help you include all your media files in a particular app for example a photo editing app or a video editing app or some uh, social media app where you are supposed to upload it without giving permission for your local storage or your cloud storage now that's amazing ios has a similar feature where you can select the number of files which you give access to only those files not your entire storage so on the android side of things with android 13 you will get permissions to not let them scan through your whole data so only the files you choose are the ones which are going to be detected by the app which is a great feature and i'm glad that this is being brought on the android side of things apart from that themed icons is gonna be more widespread hopefully the api is being given out by google this time so all the app icons that you want both in dark mode and light mode can be done by their individual developers into the themed icons building into material u and making it more cohesive so it was daring to look at for the third party apps and not really having native support for material u themed icons so th these are the major changes which i can't really show other changes will be pertaining to the large devices which are tablets and foldables although i can probably change the dpa and make the os trick that this is a bigger scale device i won't be doing it i will probably do it for the official launch of android 12 l because there will be more features over there Mostly it's around multitasking and having a taskbar or a dock at the bottom of your screen which will help in quick switching of apps or putting them into multitasking. So with that said, let's look into the user facing features of Android 13 Developer Preview 1. Alright, so let's get started with the Android 13 Developer Preview 1. So the first thing I want to show is that there is no major change that I found in the setup screen. So if you see, this is very similar to Android 12 as of now, and it is adopting dark mode because I have that selected. Also, I'll be comparing it with my Pixel 6 Pro uh, because there are, this is running the latest version of Android 12 with the February patch, and I'll be comparing things so that you get a better understanding of what are the changes in developer preview one for Android 12 and also Android 12 L beta 3 so all right so that was about the setup screen so there are some features which are being carried over from android beta l if you haven't watched that video make sure to click the card over here you'll get to know what the features are i'm talking about for the beta one you can see there is a quick wallpaper selector over here and the animations have been refined a bit more it was really buggy in beta one of android 12 l but right now you can see that it will switch very smoothly and it will expand from a certain corner into the new wallpaper and not just that it's not only working from the local wallpaper picker but for example this is a wallpaper from backdrops app so it's a third party wallpaper so let me just choose that you can see again it just opened up from here and looks very cool uh, in how the animations work out also 
with this particular preview you will get more support for themed icons so this is a developer facing feature right now it's not something that we can use but all app providers can choose their monochrome themed icons for material u adoption and they will have options to do one for dark mode as well as light mode so uh, these are for the stock google apps as of now so you can see the differences but they will be implemented i mean the developers will have an option to implement it for all third party apps another uh, thing that i just noticed visually around the wallpaper picker is when you go here you can see there are quadrants uh, of all the pickers let me just reduce the brightness there is a new line over here that's coming up like four quadrants which wasn't there before so i hope this is visible so for example when i compare it with my pixel 6 pro uh, running standard android uh, 12 stable version you might be able to see that there is no line separation on the top half of uh, the color picker so that's something slightly uh, visually new just wanted to point it out all right other parts are uh, very similar the animations are carried over from android 12 l beta which were very well refined and not just that the same hat haptic features which were there for the recent apps menu and everything has been retained not just that there is a slight change in how this functions so if you go into your silent profile the haptic feedback for most of the areas are disabled as well now coming to user facing features there have been a couple of small additions so if you go into the quick tiles you have a few extra quick tiles you get a quick tile for scan qr it is not enabled by default but uh, as far as i know you can go into adb commands and enable those uh, you have that and then you have a quick tile for one handed mode uh, you have one uh, extra dim existed before you have color correction now uh, as an extra one and also color inversion so these are some quick tile additions which have been made uh, to the android 13 developer preview all right moving on there has been a few changes regarding the user profile so let's say you have user profile set up so i have one for myself and a guest so once you go into the guest you have obviously an option to switch to the profile itself you can turn on and off phone calls if the guest profile is logged in so that's something new and you can choose which apps from the admin account to install on your guest profile as well so you get more intricate control on the guest profiles and or other user profiles so that's something nice so another little difference is that when you are going into split screen for example i have twitter opened over here so when you go into split screen and you go over here you can see the split to top uh, is written this is very similar to how it was but now there is uh, the section where your screen would move it is highlighted and filled in with a fill color so it's very uh, a bit more visual to show you where th and how the split screen would work so you can see here i have moved into the split screen mode let me open chrome um, so yeah this is how the split screen mode looks and another thing that i found out obviously this animation was already there in beta 2 and beta 3 of android 12 l the rounded corners have been put in which i am personally not a huge fan of so that's something uh, but it does adopt to material u which has standardized rounded corners throughout the ui but yeah still uh, depends on the user another new thing which i found out is that if you double tap on the uh, separator between the two apps so it will switch the windows around so that's a quick gesture i did not notice it before so that's something new and just like android 12 l this will be saved as a app pair the only thing and uh, an error that i noticed is when you have the link overview over here it is getting covered by the app icons the link so that's probably a bug it should be um, you know corrected in the upcoming versions so another thing is for the youtube app so if you go into multi window over here and open another window over it so if i expand this you can see there is an icon over here like a pause button so what it exactly means is it's like a split screen which will just turn your youtube into split screen mode you can have the same split screen features and options for your split screen over here so that's a very quick toggle for using uh, youtube in split screen mode make sure of one thing that is that it will only work when the 
PIP or the picture in picture is above another app it won't work otherwise so over here you can see the option is missing but when I open Chrome and it's above another app this option comes up so by default it's moving down but you can quickly switch and move things around this conveniently so this was added in Android 12 L beta 2 did not make it to beta 3 of Android 12 L but it's here on Android 13 developer preview 1 Alright, so now about uh, something like a media picker. So obviously there are slight changes over here when you go into uh, the YouTube music app. For example, you can see over here a shuffle and a repeat icon has come in. Now this was not previously there. It was a thumbs up and thumbs down uh, icon before. So that's a slight change into the media. Uh, window for android 13 developer preview one and the next thing is about this picker over here now this is the media picker this was a bit different looking in android 12 stable version so let me just um, switch on a song and show you so first of all you can see over here in android 12 i have the thumbs up and thumbs down button uh, for the same youtube music app so that's a difference uh, the visual cues are very similar so but the difference over here in these icons have changed and the next thing is the media picker uh, like your output source this is how the volume slider looks in android 13 developer preview uh, so you can see there is a pop-up window which is very similar to the ones we see on the internet tile for example so that's how the adoption is and again everything has rounded corners and a bit more suiting to material you but i can understand that the ui might be uh, the design might be a bit polarizing for few people so that's it so you can choose your media output over here and you have a slider with a thin bar over here which has changed a lot so you can see both connecting to the device and changing the volume levels and the done button is in the middle and you can see that it sinks into the same pill uh, when i do done over here so the animations are really refined and looks nice whereas this just goes down you can see here it pops up into a window like this i can increase and decrease the volume like this and go to done and it will sink back into the same pill shaped icon Few more things that are being adopted from Android 12 L is like the pop-up menus as I showed over here you can see the internet tile has uh, come with a pop-up menu of its own so I think this looks nicer and is a good adoption of the same um, that's about it and next you can see the same for things like the recorder as well so the recorder also comes up in a pop-up menu and uh, even if you go into screencasting you can see that the casting button is also in this particular form and as I so showed already the media picker also comes with its own pop-up menu. Alright so the next thing is about the Android version so let's just go into the Android version real quick in about phone and um, then Android version and you can see over here it is written Android version as tiramisu. So I guess that's the internal name, although it might be named Android 13 officially, but I guess the internal name and if you keep on the legacy of the desert names for Android versions, it is named Tiramisu. You can see it's the running the February uh, security patch, but the Easter egg is of Android 12 as of now that has not popped up. I guess when the public betas are out, that is when we'll get to see what the Easter egg is and more user facing features right now most of these are uh, you know for developers and for them to adapt and be ready for adoption of android 13 for their apps uis icons etc but this is it for android 13 developer preview one